Hey y'all, I just wanted to say a Happy New Year, and this is the painted form of Beastmaster. Uh, I decided to go ahead and spray paint this yesterday because I live in Ohio, and the snow melted. Yay! Spray painting actually only works in a degree temperature, roughly between 40 and 70 degrees is what the painting conditions say on the can. Works best. And I ended up using a textured uh, metal spray. It's basically made for a rust sealant, but on the board it kind of looks a bit like a textured stone. So all the texturing is done on the actual tang, which makes me happy. Um, like I said before in the makings, right here you can see where the edge uh, kind of faded. And there's another spot right up here. This is a prime example of what happens to foam uh, when it's unsealed uh, with uh, any type of primer, caulking, or just sealant, because there is a chemical reaction between aerosol sprays and uh, foam just because it's a porous material, it eats away. But um, I guess when I went to prime this, it didn't cover in certain areas, and I was kind of rushed with time, so that's alright. Um, I'm going to go back in and add black to certain areas of the sword. And overall, from a distance, you can't really tell just because of the texture of the paint. And Beastmaster is kind of a I've-been-through-hell-and-back sword. So... Honestly, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. If you had solid colors, uh, like if this was a Keyblade, that would be a huge problem because you have a lot of bright uh, colors in any of the blades, so <sighs> more mistakes like that would be more noticeable. But overall, if you look at it directly, you can't really see it, especially from a 30-foot rule. So really, it's just getting used to making mistakes and learning how to fix them. Um, the edge of this, as you can tell, is a little bit rough. I'm going to go back th through with masking tape and finish off the seams. And down here are the hilts. I'm going to go back in and add some black paint to it, but I really love this paint. Uh, I'll, I'll post some pictures on top of this video that were, I shot outside, and it looks like it's more of a steely gray. Uh, just because it was actually catching the lighting from the sky, which added a little bit more of a blue. Uh, I have a yellow light. I have, excuse me. I have a yellow spot on this right now, which makes it more of that brown. It's uh, it's actually a cocoa brown of a steel that I used, and I'm really loving the overall look of it. Uh, just because the way it's it's catching light, its reflectiveness, it looks like metal, uh, which is actually really cool. So. Uh, really all I need to do now is uh, make up some quote-unquote leather strips uh, for it. You can easily do this by taking muslin and dipping it into uh, wood stain, which I'll do a tutorial in a bit. And this bad boy will be all detailed. There's a shot of the lion head. I use the same... Uh, I think I got rid of the stencil, but it's basically easiest way to do decal decals in that is to print off a decal setting, or excuse me, print off a picture that is the exact size that you want it and just kind of uh, cut out the holes directly or trace it straight onto the board. And then that is all engraved. Oh, it took about four hours on each maybe. I think four on the first just because I had to get used to it, and two on the second, but it really looks nice. It's all the lighting is involved, I got all the paint in there, and you're able to see all the detailing, which is nice, I like it. Alright, I'll talk at you later.